tonight, the young gun Chandler Hopkins does exactly what he said he was gonna do months ago. I win championship gold. <laughs> if Chandler Hopkins wants to take Clay Roberts' television title, he has to go through all the members of TAP. As long as they're beside me, I don't lose. We are TAP! And you will TAP! tap. Big shot here tonight for the Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship against Ryan Davidson, a man he is familiar with, Cam Cole. One of the very best to ever come through the Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena, let me tell you. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 260 pounds, he is the current Reality of Wrestling Texas Champion, Grizzle Ryan Davidson! Ryan Davidson, the Reality of Wrestling Texas Champion. Again, he won that title in a cage match, which really has, uh, at the Royal Wards, has Match of the Year written all over it. Ma Sign that up, because there's no debate. That cage match was absolutely hellacious. And I'm interested to see tonight if there's any lingering injuries or issues. Because something that hellacious, yeah, it doesn't just heal right overnight. Well, and you know, that's a great point, Carolina, because we haven't seen Ryan Davidson in a singles capacity since that cage match. We saw him in the Gold Rush Gauntlet. Uh, this is his first singles match and title defense since winning the Texas Championship. I mean, let's be fair. Ryan is the bear. I mean, you can knock him down and he'll get back up. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. And Cam Cole getting the jump on the champion. You have to start like that against the bear. Right. Somebody who's huge, somebody big size. That's how you got to start if you want an advantage. Cam knows what he's doing. It's not his first, second, third, or 20th rodeo, especially with the likes of Ryan Davidson. Well, right now getting the, getting the one up on Ryan, but Ryan saying it was not enough. Oh, wow. wow, beautiful drop kick there. Cover, one, two, nope, just a one. Interesting st statistic or, or fact for those watching at home. Cam Cole, Ryan Davidson, the first two and only two Grand Slam champions in reality of wrestling's history now going against each other for yet another championship that they could add to their resume. But the first time that they've actually competed one-on-one, -on -one. surprisingly. Lots of cage matches between the two of them. A lot of cage match experience and obviously a lot of championship experience with that bear trap fist drop missing, Carolina. Oh, oh, oh. What oh. a shot! Oh my gosh. And you wonder, I mean, for Cam Cole jumping on Ryan Davis at the beginning of the match the way that he did, Ryan's kind of reeling. He's got to find a, a second to create some separation so he can get his head back in the game. He's got to find his footing. He's got to get back up. And the cage match might be an issue. Like you said, it could have some muscle type of memory where he doesn't know how to react in these type of situations without a cage. <laughs> you know what? It's an interesting point, and, and you do wonder about lingering effects. Again, we heard from... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh man! Oh. I think we heard that chop from three zip codes away. Cam told Ryan, I'm sorry, right before he just smacked the crap out of him. Yeah, they heard that one in Fort Bend County. Always appreciate 
a match like this with two stalwarts at the reality of wrestling. They've competed oh, wow. so much. That they could know be each all. other Wait. so well. That could be all. With the cover. cover one, two, is that all? No, wow. Almost, almost there. Kim is good at being bad. <laughs> or is he bad at being good? Uh, you know what? He's definitely bad at being good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably better at being bad. Looking to hit him with a big old knee there. Nope. Oh, Ooh, scouted expertly right there by Cam. Or not. Oh. Nobody can do a power slam like ruthless Ryan Davidson. And that might be the opening he needed. That could have been the moment that's going to shift this match in the Bears' favor. Bam! Oh. You know, like with any pugilistic sport, it's all about momentum in the moment. And right now, that momentum is on the side of the Bear. About staying on it and capitalizing. And there's the bear trap, fish drop. Ryan Davidson is the vanguard of the reality of wrestling. Where he goes, we go. Listen to this crowd. I can tell you they're getting their money's worth right now. He's looking for that Davidson driver. Looking for the Davidson driver. Oh. Nope. And it looks like these men are playing a little game of one-upsmanship. Well, that's what happens when you've got two veterans, two wily experts in the squared circle. That's what happens when you're bad at being good. <laughs> <laughs> we have a huge, huge night of action getting ready for you. The return of Gino Medina in our main event tonight. But right now, Wait a second. this is feeling, this feels like the, what we saw at the cage match. This feels like a man of that Oh, big. Big Bear superplex. Bear down. Cam Cole hasn't moved. If Ryan Davidson can get a cover, this thing might be over. One, two, no, no, no. What? Max Castellanos. Max. Just Max. stuck his nose and cigar into this business. Max Castellanos pulled the referee out for a count of three. Ryan Davidson didn't know what happened. Look at that. Oh! Wait, is Max gonna... Is Max gonna cash in that King of the Summer Battle Royal Championship match? It looks like he might be calling his shot. Saying he's picked the title that he wants to go after. And it is the championship that he quite literally has never lost. The Texas Championship. Some unfinished business for Castellano. Not the conclusion to this championship encounter that we wanted, but Max Castellano stands tall, and it looks like he has made his decision. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? It, suck Paid monetary spokesperson for Walker, Texas lawyer. Hey, what's up? This Booker T, six-time world champ, two-time Hall of Famer, and I've been crushing opponents in the ring for over 30 years. But Walker, he's been crushing insurance companies for over 40. Hey, if you need some help, call Walker. Now, can you dig that? If you've been injured in an accident, put 40 years of experience on your side and call Walker, Texas Lawyer today. Tempo, I didn't think you had it in you, man. I thought... You can't teach an old dog new tricks, and you still got it. You're still savvy. You brought some some boys to the playing field, and you know, I thought it was just gonna be me and you. I thought I was gonna go in there. I thought I was gonna tear your head off. That's not the way it went down. And you know what? I don't know why I expected anything different because wrestling's just like that. You can't expect anything. What you can't expect out of Will all day, though. Is that next time I see you, Tempo, I'm not going to be dumb enough to come in alone. I got some friends in this business. I might just use my phone. And I might just come back and f*** you up.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the reality of wrestling television championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 195 pounds, the young guy, Chandler Hopkins! Pew pew baby, the shooter's in the building, Chandler Hopkins has another opportunity to capture gold here at Reality Wrestling, something that has eluded him during his entire time at the Rome. Clay Roberts, the man who won the Reality Wrestling Television Championship at Summer of Champions 10 in a match that involved his opponent tonight. Clay Roberts, once again, is the TV champ. Not the way many would have expected Clay to come out on top of that match, but championships speak, money speaks, and frankly, what Clay is doing with the tab, yeah, it's a new leaf and a new era for Clay Roberts. Meanwhile, for Taylor Hopkins, he's talking about elusive. It's almost like a greased pig. Taylor Hopkins has not been able to corral that title. You remember, chance after chance after chance. You remember in Rocky, when, when Rocky won, when he's trying to catch the chicken? <laughs> Well, it feels like it immediately, immediately, the bell didn't even ring, and Clay wants to take advantage and put Chandler Hopkins away. Oh my gosh. Both these men are so technically sound when it comes to being their nice. professional wrestlers. Nice, give it back. And right now, Chandler Hopkins knows that these opportunities don't come up often, but every time he has found himself in this opportunity, he has come up short. Well, Chandler, even though you said they're both technical, Chandler does feel slighted because he lost the title because he was kicked in the nether regions. How is that fair? How is that technical? That will slow you down. And now look at Clay Roberts going back into the loving arms of his friends from town. Watch oh! out! Wow, the last time that we saw a dive like that out, we saw these two gentlemen, Preston Chambers and AJ from Tap. Yes, oh, wait a show them. Oh, look, look at that. Faces. Look at that. Tap. See, you know, I, I like Clay Roberts. Yeah. You know, Skipperville, Alabama, Roll Tide, all that good stuff. But if you're going to be a champion, you should carry yourself as one. You don't need anybody on the outside. Clay Roberts can get this job done himself. Well, with his new friends from Tap here, which, by the way, stands for Technique, Aggression, and Professionalism. Where's the professionalism in that? Why don't you go and ask the champ? He's a little busy right now at the moment. I don't know if you realize that. I don't know if Chris Rooster realized that, Caroline. He has a chip on his shoulder. He's fighting, like, with a purpose. Well, his purpose is he wants to make sure he still walks out of here, the, tag, the uh, reality wrestling television champion. Excuse me. We talk about cowboys. I mean, Chandler Hopkins was getting wrangled earlier himself. We just saw a massive shift in the championship landscape here at Reality of Wrestling with new Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Oh, look at that. Cover, one, two, and no, almost though. New Tag Team Champions. We've got the, we've got the television championship here being defended. Our main event, Zilla Fatu, defending the Reality of Wrestling Championship. This is a, uh, a once again, our executive manager, Andrew Jackson, coming in the clutch. The, the man knows how to put together. Yes, he does. A heck of a show. I he really does. Right. I agree. Backbreaker there from Clay Roberts going for the cover one, and not enough, though. You know, Clay Roberts recently went on the Big Propaganda podcast and was just talking trash to Chandler Hopkins the whole time. You know, Clay was actually supposed to fight Chandler immediately after Summer of Champions. There was a missed flight out of Chandler's control, and Clay just thinks that Chandler's been a coward ever since. 
Not right, not fair, but who knows what goes on in that brain of Clay Robertson's. Well, what goes on in that brain are ways to retain his championship. Oh. Strategizing. Oh. No one does it better than the best technician in wow. Texas. Oh, look at that. Turn him inside out. Clay Roberts going for the cover. One, two, and not enough. Meanwhile, his uh, pals there on the outside, you got AJ ready to go, the insurance policy. And then meanwhile, Preston Chambers, who looks like he just walked out of the Rayburn building at the United States Senate. <laughs> but it's been very fruitful for Clay Roberts. You got the money guy, you got the insurance guy. Things are looking up for our champ. Well, right now, Chandler Hopkins is trying to find a way to get back into this championship match. Oh, big right hand there. Chandler oh, Hopkins, gosh. Chandler would like nothing better than to actually hit that big six shooter Ooh. off the top rope and win that title. I think the people underestimate Chandler because he's a self-proclaimed cowboy, but he was a vigilante type. He's, no matter what odds are against him, he's ready to come back and he's, he really wants to beat up Clay Roberts. Co sure. Cover here, one, two, and no. Oh, look at that. Caught him in midair with a knee. And AJ and Preston not liking that one bit. Oh! The sense of urgency! One, New two, champ! New two, champ! And not enough. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's looking for it. Chandler's eyeing it. That six shooter. A six shooter press. That only he can do. It's a thing of beauty. Meanwhile, meanwhile! Oh, come on, come man. On. This is what I hate. You've got AJ. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! He's kicked out tap. He has kicked out tap from ringside. Referee has had enough. Man, MLB umpire Joe West can't even throw him out. As good as our referee right there. That was awesome. TAP stands for there's a problem for Clay <laughs> Roberts. There's a big problem right now. Cover one, two, no. Inside cradle, not enough. Clay Roberts is reeling. Oh. Wait There's a minute. There's nobody. There's nobody. Get Wait a minute. Up there. Wait a minute. He's going up top. Six, six shooter press. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. The shooter is now the champion. Savor the championship moment there, Cowboy. You earned it. Chandler Hopkins has defeated Clay Roberts for his very first championship here at Reality of Wrestling. Congratulations and well up. <laughs> All right, Max. All right, man. Loud and clear. You got my attention, yeah? Any champ, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Max, I don't get it, man. I, I don't get why guys like you just want to poke the bear, but it's something you're going to regret, man. All right? Some of my people call me a little off the wall, maybe, maybe a little crazy, but brother, I'm neither of those things. I'm off road when I get the chance, and trust me. Trust me, you're currently going down a road that you don't want to go down, Max. And especially when it comes to the Texas title, comes to this, ain't no choice but to go off-road. And I'm going to give you the ride of your life. AJ Francis. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Rocky Josiah John. It's been a while since I first met your hating ass in this very building. 
But I get it, it comes with the territory being the rock and you advance faster than the man next to you, around you, a so-called above you. And that's your problem, that's what you think you are. The places you've been, I haven't been there yet, but the thing is, you know that when I do get there, I'm gonna do it better than you ever could, and you don't like that. Now how about you tell the people about our little friendly exhibition we had when we met, and how you got the taste of the rocket's boot. Fast forward, you come to my house and you were in need. I saved you, and then you stole from me. And I come and dress you like a man in the back, and then you sneak me. And then I come looking for a fight, then you dump me, huh? And then you want to send Tito after me, and what I do to Tito, I send his ass straight back to you. Now, October 12th, one-on-one, -on -one, The Rocket, Josiah John versus AJ Francis. Now, my only advice to you, since you try to give me advice every chance you get, October 12th, rock it up. As we anticipated for weeks now, the return of Gino Medina and his opponent is going to be none other than Malik Posidic. Malik, no stranger in the reality of wrestling, looking to make a name for himself, but you talk about names, Brad. Woo, Gino Medina, over a year in the making. It has been quite some time since we have seen one of the most promising stars in the history of this company, Gino Medina, compete inside a reality of wrestling ring. This is actually his Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena debut. For Gino Medina. He definitely has always known how to make a statement and embracing his heritage. Gino is a second generation professional wrestler. His father was a Lucha Libre legend in El Sangrenario. And tonight he fully embraces his father's legacy and tries to finish out the journey that his dad began before his untimely passing. We are seeing Gino Medina, but we are really seeing his return, but we're also seeing a debut of sorts. Yeah. For Gino, the, what was the Latin heartthrob is no more. This is a new leaf, the harbinger of death. Gino Medina and his first victim was the Latin heartthrob. He spent a year in the mountains of Monterrey reconnecting with his ancestors, and they told him to make human sacrifices. Sacrifices. Well, he could be the human sacrifice of the right team. It looks like Gino Medina is thinking that he absolutely is. Gino looks to be in incredible shape. Oh, this is the best we've ever seen Gino Medina look. But there's a difference between being in shape and being in ring shape. And that's what we have to see if there's any ring rust. So far, we don't see a cover. One, two. Malik with a kick out. He spent six months training for this moment. And I can assure you, there's no ring rust today. With 19 years of age, Gino Medina won the Reality Wrestling Championship. I mean, that's a record that's not going to be broken here or anywhere else. Well, 
Philippe Bocetti don't give a damn about past glories from Gino Medina. This is an opportunity, if any, <laughs> would present itself. Look, this is great for Malik here, pulling off, I would call an upset, right? Well, I would think that, yes, the Vegas odds makers, the sports books definitely have Gino Medina as a favorite in this one. But Malik whoa, can do stuff like that. He is very athletic. He is a former tag team champion here at Reality of Wrestling. He is somebody who needs not to be messed around with as he goes for a cover two, and Gino Medina gets the right shoulder up. When you have your you have your work cut out for you if you're Gino Medina, Malik is athletic, he's agile, he's quick. This isn't an easy comeback story for Gino. He's going to have to work really hard for this win tonight. Look at that. Had it scouted. And, and that would not be what you want to do if you're Gino Medina. Have this long layoff, kind of recenter yourself, get back to the reality of wrestling oh, to come that, up short. That. Gino is smiling as Malik was coming in full steam. It just goes to show right now for Gino with this... this journey that he's been on over the year for lack of a better turn how much of this is Gino that we're seeing versus his father we cover here one two and no well the thing is when you spend your time in the mountains of Mexico sometimes you can channel your inner demons and that might be something that we might see as a darker side of him here we go Gino oh oh Malik Bo City finding a way to battle out of this one. Had it scouted. This is your main event this week on the Reality Wrestling, the return of Gino Medina. Next week, Rise to Reality. Oh, Rise to Wrestling Royalty Part 1. And have we just seen the end here? Cover 1, 2, and a missile drop kick. Not enough. The Malik thought he had him there. I mean, yeah, keep going. Keep wasting, burning that energy from Gino in the first match back. How much fuel is left in the tank? What is Malik, Malik going for? for Malik, it's big babies, no whammies. Oh, oh. man, what, able, to, able to stick the landing though. And Gino Medina, oh. oh! The kiss of death! We have seen Gino in this position before. Goodness gracious, hook it oh. up Malik for November 2nd! One, two, three, that's it. Here is your winner, Gino Medina! Gino Medina, back at the reality of wrestling with a W in the win column. And Gino. there he is, embracing that mask. What? Familia! That's the music of La Familia uh -oh. here. What the heck is Amy Cristiano and Jonathan Vega? What? what a spoiler! Jay Alexander here! What's going on? Jay Alexander with Aiden Cristiano and Jonathan Vega. Is Jay Alexander now a part of La Familia? And what are they doing out here? We know of the incredible rivalry between Aiden Cristiano and Gino Medina. Hey, hey. Hey, Gino. Relax, relax, man. Don't, wor don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Look at me. Look at me. Look, man, relax. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Gino, here at Reality of Wrestling, no one has more history with you than me. So with that said, please let me be the first one to officially say to you, welcome back to your home. Welcome back to Reality of Wrestling! Just a little welcoming party. Heck, 
carnal, carnal. We missed you. Aiden Cristiano saying that we missed you, Gino, which is, these are all accurate statements. Uh, I, I have a single, all right, wow, okay. okay. They shook hands. Oh, oh no. no, come on now. Oh, gosh. And, you know, something smelled the second that La Familia's music hit. Fishy indeed, and now, not quite the welcoming party that Gino Medina was expecting. Point my low, point my low. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we still have unfinished business, cabron. La Familia, blood in, blood out. Next week, the beginning of Rise to Wrestling Royalty Part 1 with three championship matches. But ladies and gentlemen, Gino Medina, oh come on. This is not what you want to see for the return of Gino. We'll have to find out what's going to happen with everything that we just saw. But for our executive producers, Booker and Charmel Huffman, our director, Kevin Bernhardt, my broadcast colleagues, Carolina Teague and Chris Russo, my name is Brad Gilmore, and we will see you next week on The Reality of Rest. Take a lesson, let it go Bring a paramedic, if you did it, then I said it If you dog it